Today we're talking camera basics. That means shutter speed, aperture, and ISO, and how they all relate together. Let's start off with shutter speed. Now shutter speed is the speed of the shutter. Duh. What that actually refers to is how fast the shutter is opening and closing. The faster it opens and closes, the more frames you're going to get. The slower it opens and closes, the less frames you're going to get. Disclaimer, the faster the shutter speed, the less light you're going to let in. The slower the shutter speed, the more light you're going to let in. Disclaimer two, if you're shooting video, your shutter speed is going to be locked in to go with the frame rate. So if you've got a frame rate of 30, your shutter speed is going to be at 60. In videography, this is called the 180 rule. Now let's move on to aperture. Aperture refers to the hole in which the lens sees through. This means the smaller the hole, the less light that's being let in, the higher the f-stop. The bigger the hole, the more light that's being let in, the lower the f-stop. The lower the f-stop, the more background blur you're gonna have. The higher the aperture, you're gonna have little to no background blur. Unlike shutter speed, aperture is not locked in, so that means you can change and adjust it as you want, whether you're doing photo or video. Now let's move on to ISO. The best way to describe ISO is as digital light or fake light. The way it works is it starts off at zero and goes up to a really high number. You're going to have to adjust it based on the lighting conditions. If it's a really dark image, you're going to have to pump up that ISO. But warning, the higher you pump it up, the more digital noise or grain you're going to get in your photo or video. So you want to keep your ISO as low as possible at all times. So that's essentially what these functions do. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you later.